Good morning, friends. Welcome back, everybody, to another Wednesday stream. How's everyone doing today? I hope it's a good day so far. Uh, forgive me, while the intro was playing, I was running up and down the stairs. Well, not running, but hastily making my way up and down the stairs to refill my coffee. Oops. So I'm a little... <sighs> that always happens. This happened yesterday, too. And then Rin's like, are you okay? <laughs> yes, I'm okay. I'm just out of shape. Um, we got Charles. We got David. We got Darren. We got Matt. Rin. We've got Nathan. Welcome, everybody. Hope I didn't miss any names. Gaming. I'm glad you're in a good mood today, Rin. I'm glad. I'm glad. We finished the Spirit Temple last week. So, that's done. We've got all the sages. I realize that there's a side quest we could have done. I don't think we actually need Minoru for it. But some of the other sages, but I wanted to do that today, and then and then we'll figure it out. That won't take too long, so then we'll figure out. We'll just, we'll just improvise from there. But how's everyone doing today? How y'all doing? While I have a sip of my coffee, I want you all to start typing, telling me how your day is. All that good stuff. Mm. That's pretty good. Smells good. Smells good. Tastes good. Life's good. <laughs> you are good-ass. good, -ass. good -ass. That's That's good. Darren just woke up. I'm glad you could be here. I'm glad you would wake up just for this, to be honest with you. Uh, that sounds selfish, but I'm just glad you're here. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you know how it is. I'm glad you could be here. Why, right, that's a shield. I'm glad you woke up. That's better than the alternative of never waking up. That's not, because that's not good. Sorry, I just need to take... I'm just quickly taking stock of, like, what I have in my inventory. I do this every week, I think. Uh, but... <laughs> but I forget sometimes. Look at this silver Lionel Pounder. Oh my gosh, don't pound them silver Lionel. <laughs> that should... Anyway, never mind. Why did I pin this? Oh, right. I did want to go there. I did want to go there. Let's do that real quick before we go to the place I was going to go to. Look at them good-ass weapons. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. So it's weird because replaying Breath of the Wild, <laughs> there's a few things that are that, that I've grown very accustomed to with Tears of the Kingdom, and then I go back to that, and I'm like, it's not it's not the same, or it's not as good. And, and the weapons, like, none of the weapons in Breath of the Wild come close to, like, what you can what you can do with the weapons in Tears of the Kingdom. Also, Minoru's here. No, she's not. Good night, Minoru. <laughs> so, like, the highest wep- the highest damage weapon I have on my current Breath of the Wild save is, like, 74. And then what's the highest I've got here? Yeah, like, 138? <laughs> like, what a difference. What a difference. So, you know, it's, it's just kind of, uh, it's like I found a sword that's got like 54 damage. I'm like, wow, for a one-handed sword, that's incredible. And then I'm like, yeah, that's pretty average for Tears of the Kingdom, though. That's like pretty average. They do not have as good ass. It's true. It's true. I'm just seeing there's like a, you know, if we go a little more north, there's like a bit more of an easier path. Okay. Sounds good. But there is whistle sprinting. <laughs> Somewhat good ass, but not as good ass. Exactly. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. I'm glad you understand. Oh. Don't step on Glim. I guess I could have kept Minoru out for, for specifically that reason. Specifically for that reason. Also, Rito, hello. Welcome. I'm gonna be lazy and just rocket my way up here. Because sometimes, sometimes it'd be like that. Also, Bradley, hey, welcome as well. Welcome, friends. I'm glad you all could make it. Huck. 
Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Yes, I can climb. The weather's getting better. That is good. That is that is good. That is good. It's pretty gloomy here in this. Not this kind of gloom. I mean, it's just a very gray day over here, but that's okay. That is okay. Weather's getting worse for Bradley. No! It was 60 yesterday, and then going to snow tonight. 60 is like a... Uh, comfortable. I'm not going to use this sword on a, on a keys. I'm sorry. I'm not. Uh, that's a pretty comfortable temperature, isn't it? If I'm not mistaken. So, but then going down to snow... That is, that is something else. Oi! <laughs> Typhlo Ruins? Have I spelled it wrong in the title? You're so right. My perception of the world has been shaken. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that H. There's a there's a whole there's a whole there's a whole entire H there. All right, we're just gonna update the title. <laughs> Damn, good thing I didn't put any text in the thumbnail. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. I But would it be Thyflow Ruins then? Cause Typhlo Ruins sounds better. Thyflow. Thyflow. My thighs are flowing with freaking I don't even know. I don't, I'm shocked at this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I I am shocked. Oh, hey, that's a nice looking piece of equipment right there that I do not have the inventory space for at all. Um so uh <laughs> dang cuz I want it. It's a it's a good piece of I'm going to pretend it's silent. I'm going to pretend it's a silent H and it's Typhlo runes because Typhlo just doesn't sound right to me. All right, we're just going to hang on to that Eightfold Blade because then I can have the set of dragon goodies on my swords. <laughs> Got to have the whole set. <laughs> Doobie doo. Actually, I'm gonna do this one. It's I like I like it when it's glowy like that. Also, hey H chat, welcome as well. Nice to see you. Mm -hmm. I thought it was polymus, but it's really it is polymus, <laughs> or, or it's ploymus ploymus mountain. Hold on, what the frick is happening? I've said Polymus Mountain for... What do you mean, Ploymus Mountain? Stop doing this! <laughs> My brain cannot... I can't, I can't, I can't. I've said Polymus out loud in videos before. Is the entire Zelda community dyslexic? <laughs> Including me. <laughs> can't we can't read shit? <laughs> we probably all thought this was called the West Spring of Courage. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'm not ready for this. I'm not. Mm -mm. What else have we collectively gotten wrong? Shit. 
Jeez. Crazy. There's the bargainer man. The bargainer man. Oh. That's... I'm gonna need more coffee for my brain to, to process all this new information. I'm gonna be, like, studying the map. I know that for a long time. Um, I mispronounced, uh, slash misread the name for the, uh, the Tanagar Canyon. Like, omitting the extra, the middle A. So I thought it was just Tangar Canyon. Tangar Canyon. But it's Tanagar. Tanagar. Which makes more sense. Japanese words. Tanagar. They're very, like, syllable. Syllable. Anyways. Um. Jeez. I'm, like, I'm shaken by this. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to go here today because... because when I was, like, playing this for 100% on my, uh, other save file, like, my personal one, this was a, this was one of the last locations I found. It was an, it was one I totally just, like, passed by. And I'm like, why would I pass by it? Why would I not check behind the waterfall? You know? Like, that just, do that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> so, anyways, I didn't want to miss it this time. Didn't want to miss it. Oh, I'm not allowed to ascend. Oh, wait, yes, yes, I am. Just not there. Oh, uh, JK. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back down. Oh, all right, we got a super chat. Wow, thank you for the super chat. All you need is a, your, and then your name gets cut off. I'm so sorry. All you need is an H. That's that's what it shows me. All you need is an H. Uh, Four ninety nine. I think space is going to be the next Zelda setting. It's Final Fantasy Rebirth open world format, linear story but open. Interesting. Maybe I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to to go into space. I know some people. I know like uh, I, that's not how you do abilities. I'm not even. I was literally like, oh, here's some water. I'll just use Cryonis. Guys, I don't know what game I'm playing. <laughs> I don't know what game I'm playing, apparently. <laughs> um, uh, that could be fun, though. I, I know Nintendo <laughs> would make it fun. Um, so, you know, there is that. They, they did do it for Mario. That's true. They can send Mario to space. I I have faith in their in their ability to, to just make it fun. All you oh here's the whole the alert box got me here. All you need is a heart virus to be Goku. Oh. <laughs> There's the alert box. Thanks so much for the super chat, by the way. Super appreciate it. I do. Oh, here's that beautiful construct factory music. I love the music in the construct factory. It's like so good. So, so good. Which by the way, when I was writing a script for the, the video for that, um, man, my like autocorrect just like did not want did not want to call it the construct factory. It was like, you clearly mean construction factory. And I'm like, no, that's not what I wrote. And they're like, yes, it is construction factory. And I'm like, no, that's not, that's not what I wrote. <laughs> that's not it. I'm so good at this game. All right. <laughs> Buddy, I'm just trying to pick up your friend's 
body parts. Can't she just let me do that, please? Also, hey, Geo Dragon, welcome. Welcome. That's a gnarly stick. Gnarly stick, bro. Gnarly. Okay. I don't think I need to stick around here. I kind of want to just go get this one light root that's over here. I know I put Typhlo runes in the title, but like while I'm down here, like we got four hours. We're we're fine. We're fine. Like, what's going to be the best route, though? Because I've got to... I think it's better if I go... Like, this way. Than if I go... This way. Well, actually, this would probably be fine. Yeah, I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to be lazy. I know it's, like, right there, but it's on a ledge. You got a fig bar. Yum. Very nice. Very nice. Also, Alyssa, hey! Welcome. Welcome. A procrastinator is a non-meeting? Yeah, good good luck scheduling it. <laughs> Just n not everyone can uh, can land on a time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to be on the Nintendo Prime podcast tonight. Yeah, I was invited to that. So I said, yeah, yeah, man, okay. I'll talk about video games. Uh, so yeah, that's at, I think, 6 p.m. Pacific time tonight. Um, that's 8 central time, 9 EST. Unless I don't know time zones. It's for sure 6 Pacific time, though. <laughs> Yeah, so so you know, I'll I'll post in the Discord as well, um, uh, when I'm doing that. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lose the heart. It's okay, it's okay. Um, so yeah. Oh, goodbye, Construct Factory music. It's such a beautiful piece of music, though. Oh, these guys want a tango. Yeah, okay. We'll do it this way. Hey man, I was just gonna... Use my multi-shot bow to hit all three of them at once. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> they are goofy goobers. You gonna have a jump? <laughs> Goodbye. You know, I think wolves are the only smart enemies in this in this game in which in which they will um they will see me kill their friends and then they just are like, you know what? Nah, I'm good. Like you if you get attacked by a pack of wolves, you kill one wolf, the rest are like, actually, nah. We're out. And and every other enemy <laughs> They don't, they don't, they don't have second thoughts. <laughs> they do not reconsider. So, so there's that. Uh, Eric, hi, welcome. Uh, yeah, I just popped into his stream yesterday just to say hi, you know, enjoy some Minish Cap. Um, you know. It was, it was funny, all these, all the people that were like, hey, I, I know you. That was flattering. But also, I was, I was, like, not there to, like, you know, uh, promote myself or whatever. I was just there to, like, watch. <laughs> it was always funny. Don't throw a pebblet at me. Oh, he's going to throw a pebblet at me. Rest in 
Please, Boko. All right, well, he's just killing them all for me. You're helping me, thanks. Thanks for the help. A little lasagna. A little lasagna. <clears throat> sometimes, sometimes I do go to other people's streams, and sometimes I just lurk, because it's, like, nice to have something on. You know what I mean? Just while I'm, like, I don't know, at home. You know what? I'm just going to use this, because it'll, it'll work. I know that was very unskilled of me to not switch my weapon to break this ore. Very unskilled of me. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good stuff, good stuff. Jake Randall. I don't know, yeah, who else is on, on the panel tonight? I do think one <clears throat> one thing I have, uh, I wouldn't say a complaint, just something I would do differently. It's like I find that at times he, he has like a few too many people on on his podcasts at once. Uh, for Sorry, for Nintendo Prime podcast. So like for me as like a viewer, it makes it a little hard to, to follow at times. Uh, but, you know, he does pretty good at keeping, keeping everyone uh, in line, I guess. I've certainly had a... a a number of guests when I've done the few occasions I've done like not podcasts but uh, like discussion uh, sort of videos but uh, you know I try and you know I think I do a pretty good job of, of leading the discussion in such a way that uh, there's not going to be a lot of like overlap and people talking that kind of stuff of course when I've done those I haven't done them live either so there is that that there is that. Mm, Nick with no K, Jake Randall. Okay, okay. And then the usual suspects. Mm hmm. Okay, alright. I I've been on um a podcast before with uh actually it was on on his channel. With Nick with no K. I don't know what's going on other than that. Um Oh. But, you know, he was chill when I talked to him on that before. Doobie doo doo. Great. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm hmm. That's fair too. The wolves uh, are not, they're just animals. They're not, they're not gloom infested or controlled. They're free thinkers, them wolves. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm. Um, Geo Dragon asks if, which is better, Blind Force or Will of the Wisps? So, I mean, they're, they're, you know, like Will of the Wisps is a sequel to Blind Forest. Uh, they're both really fantastic. Uh, I, I would say Will of the Wisps is better, but you should play both um, to get kind of the full story and the full experience. And uh, usually they sell them together, like as the Ori collection, and it's really good. It's really, really good. Um, but both are fantastic games. Uh, I would say like the one weak point that I find with... Um, Ori in the Blind Forest was the combat was kind of a weak spot for the game. Like, everything but the combat was fantastic, and the combat was just kind of like, eh, it's there, but it's really just kind of, you know, it's just kind of okay. And holy dragon. Uh, and then Will of the Wisps said, okay, well, we'll keep all that other good stuff, and uh, and now we'll have an actual combat system. And it's so good. It's like really well implemented. It's like okay, Moon Studio. They know what they're doing. They don't, they're not half-assing anything. 
How would they not see me? I literally have a glowing shield on. Oh, never mind. They saw me. <laughs> Oops. I'm stepping on a balloon. Oops. Just a little. Just a little bit. Okay, now I'm ready to fight. No. Oh, that was way too early. Okay, hold on. Uh, this is the weapon I was using before. I'm gonna pick up all them rocks. All them rocks. And he did. And he did. This poor guy over here. He has. He just had. To, he just stood there and watched his friends die. You found your channel from oh you found me from the last time I was on his podcast oh that was a that was a hot minute ago, but uh, wow thanks, that's awesome. Oh hey that's not a. Let me try that again. That's what I wanted. Well, that's great. I'm I'm glad that my uh, my presence there was was enough to convince you to jump over here. <laughs> Cause you know I I actually think that last time I was on there I kind of like uh, maybe floundered a bit with some of the questions. Uh, you know what I mean? <clears throat> didn't didn't articulate all my thoughts as well as I could have. Uh, and you know we had some disagreements about about certain topics and uh and uh I, I i don't think i conducted myself in like a bad way but you know i uh still and, and when i say disagreements i mean like literally we like disagreed about like some like zelda theory stuff not like <laughs> Not like there was like bad blood or anything. That's <laughs> um, just like I think it was HMK and I, for example, didn't didn't see eye to eye on certain certain lore stuff, um, which is fine. That's the great thing about art is that art is open to interpretation. They got freaking lasers. Lasers. Yeah, the Wolfos from the N64 games were freaking awesome. Yeah. I, I definitely agree with that, Geo. Mm-hmm. YouTube chat highlights your username for you, even if not if in, even if it's not tagged. And anytime there is Rin in a regular word, even in the middle of a word, like Ocarina, for example. <laughs> That's funny. That's actually really funny. I think people are trying to trying to tag you, but they're not. Sorry, Rin. Sweet electrify electrifying unicycle. I love an electrifying unicycle. And the flamethrower unicycle. Who would have thought a flamethrower unicycle? I think it also depends on if you are on um, desktop or mobile as well for the name highlighting thing. There you go, Minoru. That's what you're useful for. Thank you for that. Okay. <laughs> uh, cool. We have received reports of sounds coming from inside the large wall to the southwest. Specifically, they're coming from the striped wall that extends up to the ceiling. We have searched the depths for some sort of entry point, but to no avail. Were the sounds a figment of our imagination? 
Or could it be that there's an entrance somewhere else? If only we had a map of this place, we could know for sure. Glory to Master Koga. Oh, so I guess they're talking about the the wall to where Lake Hylia is, I guess. What's in treasure chest number one? It is a large crystallized charge. Who would have thought? You'll never guess what's in treasure chest number two. It is a schematic. Yeah, yeah. I'll never use that. Cool. <laughs> it's those things. Have we been in this? We haven't actually been through this chasm, but you would fall right into their lasers if you if you go down this way. Funny that. This is gonna break. Yep. Cool, man. Okay, here's the light route that I wanted to uh, activate. This is a busus light route. <laughs> it's busus. Ah. Also, do you dragon nest if they, if I think they'll return to this era of Zelda? I don't. They don't usually return to eras of Zelda, so I'm gonna say probably not. But nothing's ever out of the question. You know what I mean? Nothing's ever off the table. So yeah, maybe, but I don't see it. I, I, I wouldn't expect it. Like once they're done with like an era of game, then they're kind of just done with it. I kind of have some like bed head happening here. It's like sticking up a little in the back. It's all good. Bedhead. Bedhead head head. Okay. Cool, cool. Very cool. We actually have been here already, so we don't need to worry about about that. Where we read that journal entry for. Okay. I'm gonna go warp out of here. Let's go to up here. Yes, up here. Yes. We are whooping. YouTube put their find in page feature on their live stream chat. Can you elaborate, Darren? Can we elaborate? Because I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. Also, this is going to peace out for a bit. Going to take a take the doggo i misread it as dragon at first i was like what do you mean take the dragon <laughs> i'm taking my dragon out for a while <laughs> take the doggo out that makes way more sense all right have a good uh have a good walk thanks for popping in man appreciate it appreciate it cool very cool. Oh, you know what I should do is I should, uh, I have a knot. I should, I should go over here. And, uh, is it up high? Or is it down low? Oh, it's below me. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Because I did start the quest for that. Whee! Let's get Tulin. Best burb. See, this is what I'm talking about here. So, like, like the colors, like, like these two match. Like, they have all the all the matching colors, but they don't order them to to match. I don't know. It, it shouldn't bother me as much as it does. 
It should not. The thing earlier she posted in the Discord looks like. What happens when you use the find in page feature? Oh, oh, like when you, when you, like, control F something? I got you. I got you. Cool. Good night, Tulin. Oop. Just take a quick photo. Is this the one that's gonna fall down the chasm? Oh, hey! There it is. Nice. That's totally gonna fall right down the chasm. Cool. Have I? I have not been down this chasm, so I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna drop down it just to get the discovery. It counts towards completion percentage. Cool, we got the photo, so that's good. Ooh, pose. I hear Dargan. Music. Yo, can I recall this up? I cannot? That's rude. Where are you going? Drangan? Okay, well, I guess I won't get some dragon goodies this time. I could go into Gleoctan, though. Again. Even though I've done it before. I might do it anyways, just to... Just for funsies. Also, Gleok parts are... They're good to have. Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's frocks there. Have I fought that guy before? Look at him, he's just... I guess I have, because my hero's path is all over where he is. Sometimes I just want to fight a guy. Sometimes I want to throw hands with <laughs> big monsters. <laughs> Is that so wrong of me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna fight a King Leoc. King Leoc. And I've got rockets on shields, so that's good. Very good, in fact. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought I would hear that. Your whole chat is orange? Rin, you've broken YouTube. Also, hey, Tetra! Welcome. Good to see you. Power of wall. Wall, well, well. Perhaps using the wrong bow for this. Link cannot aim vertically enough. Oh. Thingies he's got. Whoa. Hey, man, stop blowing me around with your little windings. Okay, hold on. I think. Yeah. Okay. 
Not gonna lie, the like shattering sound when you hit the ice one, super satisfying. I should not be wearing the Korok mask. <laughs> not for this. I put it on because I was like, yeah, I'm out of the depths, and then I immediately went back into the depths. Oof. Well, that's rude. Mr. King Geok, have you ever considered how that makes me feel? No, you have not, because you are selfish. Did I drop my weapon? I think I did. Okay, hold on. Ooh, ouch. I must have got electrocuted somewhere. Unless it broke. But that's always possible. It might have just broken. I think it's broken, actually. Oh, we're doing this part of the fight. Shoot. Sorry, I was looking for my... weapon. Of Gleok Destruction. Alright, well... Let me get up. <laughs> Good grief. Oh my goodness. Where'd he go now? Where are you at? Okay. Let's see. Um, we're going to do it this way. Bear with me. Bear with me. Um... He might be too far away for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Ooh. Cool, man. Got him. Ain't no thing. Okay, I need to be directly vertical of where I am. So. I am once again warping to the same spot. Anyways, thanks for GG's. Wow, appreciate it. Appreciate it. I am also surprised about no one's autocorrect uh, doing that. <laughs> Especially because I think it every time. I think it every time. All right. Whee! Oh, actually, you know what? I just, I know I just put on this outfit. I just changed my clothes. Link can change clothes in midair, though. It's okay. New. But this is so much better. Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about, man. I'm an innocent man. I'm an I'm innocent. Hmm. 
Newm. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to just drop in and announce like that. <laughs> All right, let's put on our usual. Usual clothes. I saw it while I was coming down that there was a... Uh, Rock here. Easy peasy. Yeah. Ain't no thing. Oh, okay. I was like, is that one I already got? It is. It is one I already got. Okay, so here's the Typhlo ruins. It's the place, a uh, Typhlo, you might say, in the title. Also, Quark Mask is already going off. I just came to this area in Breath of the Wild just like the day before yesterday. So it's like, ooh, that's gotta be it. There's a stone right here. So I was kind of interested to, uh, kind of like, I was like kind of trying to like make a me mental map of the place. While I, uh, while I did it. But, um, I'm interested to compare. I think previously when I came here, I just came in, kind of unlocked the tower, fought some guys, and left. I didn't, because I couldn't do the side quest that's here. So now we can do that side quest. But, um, uh, I think I incorrectly said last time that I was here that some of the layout had changed. And, um, I don't think that's actually the case. I think I was wrong about that because I think I misremembered what the Breath of the Wild layout was like. So, for example, where this Korok seed was, is like a raised platform. And that's where, like, the Sheikah Shrine was in, in Breath of the Wild. And, um, the tower is basically where the, the Hinox was. So, like, it, yeah, seems relatively unchanged. Minus, of course, like, that stuff. And the fog being gone. Bonk. So, yeah. Sometimes we're wrong about things, and that's okay. But this big statue is here. Like, as far as I can tell, coming through here. It's unchanged, like, as far as the actual layout is. Except for, yeah, the fog is gone. And, of course, the little statues that, that the, like, torches, those are gone. But I love the architecture in, in areas like this. I love it. Do, there's a part of me that does kind of wish that they um, kept this architectural style more for Zonai stuff. I, d I do like the look of the shrines, though. I won't lie. Mm, this and a Cala Citadel. Yeah, I... I mean, I've voiced my gripes before about a Cala Citadel. Age of Calamity kind of did it, but, like, it's not the same. I would have loved to properly explore it here. It's really weird that the inside is like, it's a normal cave. I don't know. I have feelings on the matter. Oops, sorry, what I meant was... I'm just gonna ditch that one. It's weird that it doesn't show me going all the way there, even though I definitely did, because I got that Korok. Weird. 
Sometimes the hero path is uh, it's a little it's a little weird. <laughs> Yeah, see, this raised platform is the one. So in Breath of the Wild, you fought the Hinox down here. He had the orb. So the shrine, the Sheikah shrine was up on this raised section. But it's all, it's all gone now. Good spot to build a tower, though. All right, let's talk to this guy, hey. Mr. Kazu. <clears throat> Hello, my brother in research. I was waiting for you. You were? Oh. That's right. I'm the one who discovered these big ruins out here. <laughs> you think you discovered them. But I wasn't able to make much progress investigating them. I'm only one Hylian, and this, alas, is not a one Hylian job. That's why I wrote to the Zonai survey team asking them to dispatch a researcher to assist me. Mm. And here you are, practically right after I sent my letter. Great response time. Yeah, I don't know who you are, man. <clears throat> what, you're not a Zonai survey team researcher? You're just some guy? Sure, that's me. I'm just some guy. I see. Aww. So few people come through here. I assumed you had to be the assistant I asked for. My mistake. After all the trouble I'd gone to. Can't they send one assistant to help with my monolith research? Oh. Tell me more. Oops, did you hear that? Sorry, scrub that from your brain. It's not meant to be public knowledge. Mm. If you were from the Zonai survey team, I could tell you all about what I've discovered so far, but... You're not, so tell me anyways. I am very persuasive with this. Look into my eyes. You can see how persuasive I am. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but that's not really allowed. Then again, we may not be a researcher. He does have the look of an adventurer about him. Maybe his expertise will get things back on track. Ah. You know what? You're hired. For this project alone, I'm appointing you as a research assistant. Come on, let's find out what secrets these ruins are hiding. Oh. Well then, we can dive right in. I'll start by showing you what my research has uncovered so far. Wait there. My lopsided eyes. Hey, you know I'm self-conscious about that. <laughs> you know I'm self-conscious about that. Hmm, stones. Very nice. Way to arrange those. Good work. Take a look. I think you'll be pretty surprised by this discovery. Okay, sure, man. I'll take a look. Also, little Mousy Bianca, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. I'm glad you enjoyed. Display the power of the Sage of Wind to the Owl, protected by many dragons. Mm -hmm. Eh? Aren't you surprised? Yeah, definitely. Ah. Right, right? Ah. The Zonai were an ancient civilization with their own system of writing. Almost no one a living today can read Zonai script. But you can read the inscriptions on that monolith, right? It's because it's written in Hyrulean. Mm. Though these runes appear to be Zonai in origin, they feature text written in modern Hylian. How could that be? Who built these runes and for what purpose? Oh. This is just a possibility. But the monoliths that were found might be pointing to a spot somewhere in the ruins. You and me, we're gonna get to the bottom of this. I need you to find that spot. There, we may yet find another monolith that tells us why these ruins were built. <laughs> it's just a hunch, but it's also your boss's hunch, so... Cool. Alright, we're gonna bring out little Tulin. Gonna have a little look around. Maybe I shouldn't have cut through here. It's all good. It's all good. Look at him running around. That, okay, well, I shouldn't have changed weapons because clearly there's still dudes to fight. Ooh, 
Ooh, 16. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm gonna say, let's take, uh, I got a lot of these. How much, how much, uh, attack power does that do? It's 17. And this is 16. And that's decent. Or I could just go all out with this one. <laughs> Seems like overkill. Seems like overkill. It's fine. Okay. What was that again? Owl protected by dragons? Yar. This could be this guy. These are many dragons. Though is he protected by them? I guess so. It's, it looks like cutscenes triggering. Looks like it. Looks like it. What's funny too is while I was keeping an eye out for this while playing through this in Breath of the Wild just day before yesterday, and like these stone squares, like this square of stone is there. Like they didn't change that. They didn't add that in there. So you know. It's pretty cool. That they were able to, to keep that consistency. Okay, Tulin, good job. You did your work. Go to sleep now, baby Tulin. Bing. Good job. Lids, I'm telling you, lids, man. Hey, good new good news. Good news, mister. You found it. The place the monolith was talking about? So that's where it was. Excellent work. I'll go and take a look shortly. Display the power of the Sage of Fire to blaze through the space between two dragons from head to tail. Mm. Two dragons. That description reminds me of something I saw when I first arrived at these ruins. Mm hmm. That's great, man. Okay, we need your Bobo. Your Bobo. Yo, Bobo. <laughs> So right at the entrance, oh, here's Big Owl, man. Yeah, see, like, sections like this where this big square is of stone. It's consistent, I'm telling you. There's two dragons as statues, though. We're just... And then this, it, it rises. Like, so part of me can't help but wonder, like, was it planned for that game? Was there plans or something? Or did they just make really good use of the of the of the architecture that was already here? Because they're really freaking smart about that kind of stuff. Three rubies. I cannot ascend. Like, but why not? It's not like this is this poor owl statue's nose, his beak. His beak. Yeah, I can't help but wonder, you know? If it wasn't planned, then going back to that game, it's like, well, they did a good job of making it seem like it, you know? Yo. There you are, my assistant. I know I can count on you to propel our research forward. What? You found it. The place the monolith was talking about. Yeah, I did. I sure did. Oh, that's where it was. Excellent work. I'll go and take a look shortly. Display the power of the Sage of Water in the presence of the six dragons. Mm. There's a small ring of dragon-headed statues somewhere, wasn't there? Ominous place. Mm 
Also, another thing, I talked about dungeon order in my um, dungeon design videos. And, and I've stuck to this order, which is like how the icons are lined up here. It's how these stone tablets are lined up. Everything, the banners and lookout landing, everything points to that order. Wind, fire, water, lightning. So it's interesting. But people still fought me on it in the comments. They're like, well, the, you, you should go to Lightning Temple before water. And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> what? No, you should not. That's a block. I don't know. YouTube comments be weird, man. Sometimes you can you can throw all the evidence in the world at someone and they're going to be like, well, no, but I'm right because I, th I think so. <laughs> I mean, that's the best part is that you can do them in any order. I'm just saying like the, the there's clearly an intended order. You don't have to stick to it, though. That's the that's kind of what's great about it. But also, I, I, I'm going to save the best for last kind of guy anyways. Lightning Temple is definitely the, the best dungeon, but, uh, or it's my favorite. But also. But also. Water Temple, I would get out of the way just because it's sticky. It's good to get that out of the way. Can you imagine finishing Lightning Temple and you're like, great, now I have left to do. Oh, it's the Water Temple. It's the. I'm good temple. Okay, I saw there was another guy. There he is. Hey, guy. I can't believe this one researcher guy is just out here. Are these constructs not going to try and murder him to death? Perhaps not. Just a strong Sonite sword, though. Not a mighty one. Did I see another guy? That's the spot, for sure. But did I see... Was there another guy? No, okay, so I'm just gonna... Go ahead and break it and take this. But I'm gonna take that off of it okay this looks like the spot I've been meaning to uh... oh that did nothing cool man very cool Is this not the spot with six dragons? Wait, what's the, let's read the description. In the presence of six dragons, yeah. Buddy. That's six. Is it not? Can I not count to six? Yeah, what H chat said. Water Temple aesthetic is top tier, but the actual, like, game design. They said, you gotta really display the power. More power. More display. Darren, you gotta what? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that did the trick. Five opals.
Octo rock. Okay, that's side on you. You can go to sleep now. Oh, that didn't. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Octo rock. There you are, my assistant. Yes, that's me. So I found the thing. You found it. The place the monolith was talking about. So there it was. Excellent work. I'll go and take a look shortly. Yes, good. It's good stuff. All right. Now it's time for the lightning. Display the power of the Sage of Lightning at the end of the long dragon that protects the mountain of death. Also, Randall, hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hmm, there are a lot of dragon statues, but we're looking for one with a long body, sounds like. What's the Mountain of Death part? That's troubling. There's literally a very famous landmark in, in this kingdom called Death Mountain. Like, what else could it be? Dude, you're not... For a researcher, a professional researcher, he's not... He's not the smartest guy I know. <laughs> he's just simply not. I'm gonna cook food. Let's cook. Let's get some food, you know? <laughs> For Breath of the Wild, yeah, my dungeon order, which I think the game kind of nudges you into, but always how I did it was water, fire, wind, and then lightning in that order. So you kind of do a counterclockwise around the map. Um. Whereas this one is, is more, instead of starting in Lanayru and then going counterclockwise, this game instead starts you in Hebra and you go clockwise, as far as uh, main dungeon order goes. Alright, we gotta pull out Riju thing. He didn't look around much. This is true. He he really didn't. <laughs> or he just doesn't know what what to do. I th I think he just doesn't He's just not the smartest guy. Ooh. There's a quark ne nearby. I found him. All right, stinky baby. I'll be back for you in a moment. Just going to pin him on the map there. We'll be back for him. Hey, where's Death Mountain? It's supposed to Oh yeah, there it is. It's over there. So I was like, uh it looks like it looks like it was missing for a moment here. I think it's just the angle's weird. So there's there he is. Now we gotta find the, or by he I mean the mountain of death. It's a long dragon, long dragon. Well, this could be him. Maybe. Is it which end do we need to be at? At the end of the long dragon. Doesn't say which end, but if this is. his body then that's his head so it could be this end oh yeah and he's looking at the mountain too ain't that nice okay let's see what what if we do this so I'm gonna say probably the other end
Does long mean dra dra <laughs> dragon <laughs> in one dialect of Chinese? So it's a dragon dragon, yeah. Okay, okay, this, the tail end. Got it. Good work, Riju. You can go to sleep now. Good stuff. She's earned it. She's earned it. Three topaz. Very nice. Very nice. Ah, the block. It rises. Ooh. Fancy. Okay, well, let's go tell the guy about the stuff. And then, and then we'll... Check that spot out. Oh, he's not there. He said, actually... Maybe he went to go. Oh no, here he is. Huh? He says. Oh. My trusty assistant, you're back. I thought I could hear a loud noise from deep within the ruins. You heard that too, right? Mm. That was unsettling. I wonder what might have caused it. Well. Let's read the thing. Hey, hello, are you there? Yes, we are here. How you doing, Chris, by the way? How you doing? Sorry you missed all the tears in the kingdoms. <laughs> so this is what was waiting for us beneath the ruins. Wait, you found another monolith? If it was hidden away down here, there's almost certainly something important written upon it. Oh, my heart is pounding. Shall we read it? Dare we? We dare. Here, allow me. A monument to loyalty. Hyrule owes its peace today to the gift that King Raru gave us in his noble feat of imprisoning the Demon King. Wait, K King Raru imprisoning the Demon King? Raru is named in legend as the first king of Hyrule. And this mention of imprisoning the Demon King, this monolith is no doubt a chronicle of the imprisoning war. My heart won't stop pounding. Let's read on. The great battle ended with a seal, began with support from the sages, each of whom bore a shining secret stone. Among these were four Hyruleans, loyal warriors all, who hastened to King Raru's aid as their oaths demanded. They were, sorry, they are the pride of the peoples of Hyrule, this stone monument is dedicated to the loyalty that will echo through time. Ah. I see. In other words, this ruin is dedicated to the sages who fought with Raru, the first king of Hyrule. It was built by Hylians afterward. That explains why there was Hyrulean text on the monoliths we found. <laughs> what a discovery! I'm astonished to find so profound a secret hidden in these long buried ruins, so full of mystery. Ah. I'll stay here for now to analyze what's written on this monolith. What do you mean analyze it? We read it. We read it. That's all there is to it, man. Once my heart rate returns to normal, I'll swing by the survey team base in Kakariko and turn my findings into a book. <laughs> Can't wait to see the looks on their faces. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Whoops, I completely forgot to give you a reward. Mm. I never could have solved the mysteries of these ruins without you. My assistant, you have my thanks. Great. Please take this. Ooh, big battery. Ooh, big battery. And this too has a bonus. Okay, if someone paid me in a diamond, especially one as big as these ones, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. If you came all this way just to see some ruins, you must be almost as fanatical about Zonai history as I am. 
So please, enjoy these Zonai artifacts I discovered. Mementos to remind you of our time working together. Oh. Now fear not, since I'll be sticking around for a while, you can come back if ever you'd like to talk about ruins and relics. In the meantime, happy trials. Goodbye, my trusty assistant. Ah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Gonna, that's just gonna float there. It's all good. This guy would be a Zelda tuber IRL. He would be. And we got the Dusk Claymore. A slender Claymore thought to have been handed down to the Kingdom of Hyrule ages ago. The blade shines with a holy luster. It's so shiny. Oh. You have nothing to say about this? <laughs> Found this sword, do you like it? He does not care. He does not care. He's not a sword enthusiast. He is not. Okay, we can't forget about the Korok. There he is. Okay. Hey, little dude. Oh, he's so tired. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. this yeah. one the answer is no instead of writing about yeah yeah i mean there there's no podcasts in hyrule at this time so he's definitely he's doing what he can you know with what he's got to work with he's doing his best there Okay, hold on. Just in case it's a total waste of Zonite, <laughs> I'm gonna save first. Not that I don't have Zonite to spare. But, but... Hear me out, okay? Murdered him. Okay, we're gonna reload. <laughs> I thought he would go farther. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, it is the one from Twilight Princess. The uh, the sword from that. Okay. Uh, hey, little guy. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here for the very first time. Definitely the first time. Also, it's about to blood moon up in here. I saw the little red wispies. But I don't think I need any... to do any cooking. I don't think I do. Hmm. I have a lot of food. I don't know. Uh, okay, so... Let's see what else we gotta work with in here. Will this sink? I have I think it will, to be honest with you.
Decisions, decisions. Uh, I'm not a Korok torturer, though. I'm not some kind of weird sadist. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, you missed whatever happened? Well, I accidentally maybe sunk the Korok in the uh, in the tar here. Yeah, so I think this is... Let's just see if it sinks. Can, can we just l lift it out? It totally sinks. But how... Oh, this is not too deep, though. Is this as deep as it... Oh, no, it gets deeper. Oh, it gets way deeper. Okay, well, it's a good way to test that out, I guess. Okay, so that was uh, a kind of waste. It was an accident! It was an accident! I was trying to launch him across, but I launched him and he, he landed in, in the mud. You know what I think? I think we just need more springs. I think that is the answer. I... I think... Th hmm... So let's take um, the launch pad schematic. Okay. Oh, also, do I, do I have an axe anywhere? No, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I've got, I've got a lot of these, so. Okay, hold on. Let's get these out of the way. And by these, I mean this one... One tree that's in the way. Oh, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, little dude. If we... Add more springs. Okay. Uh, sorry, little dude. <coughs> oh my gosh. Let's just, let's just set you aside for a second here. I mean, oh, these trees are in the way. Okay, hold on. Ouch. <laughs> I think I've just trapped myself. It's okay. All right. <laughs> Not trapped. Okay, 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 okay. Now... Now it's double spring, okay? Um. I'm maybe just like one meal. Oopsie. Yo, Link, put it in the pot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Link really just lifted the portable pot. Good grief. I was just like, you know, I'll cook a stamina up food for the blood moon. Oh well, hey. 
it still yielded a good result. Okay. Here we go. You know what? I'm still nervous about it. Let's... We're going to take off this. This big board. Okay. We're going to put a third spring. Okay. That's wrong. That's wrong. Put it on properly. Please, no. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And we're going to need a stake. Okay. So essentially, the, the old triple spring. But with the board on it. Okay. Okay, little guy. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Successful launch. Yo, except where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. See? Everyone's happy. <laughs> He's like on his side. <laughs> that was far too much brain power. <laughs> For this silly puzzle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. We got him. We got him. It's all good. I'm gonna go fight these Lizalfos now. <laughs> Way too much brain power. Don't lick me, you weirdo. Don't sp don't spit on me. Don't spit on me. Such a weirdo. Phone call, okay. Alright, I'm leaving forever. She's leaving forever. That went better than it than it should have. That's fair. Honestly, that's fair. You throw a rock at me? Don't. I don't know why that last hit missed. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, cool. So they're dead. They are dead. I just want to see if there's uh, anything up top there. You know. Just in case. Just in case. Mm-hmm. Oh, just like, you know, one guy. One Korok. Hey, Benny. Way to go, she says. Thanks. You really, uh, didn't equip yourself very well with this, this stuff you got here, huh? Thanks for the save. Just, you just gonna, do you want to put that sword away while you're talking to me? Oh, tomato soup. Yum. Mm. She's not good at finding geoglyphs. Wait, what? There are people who claim to have scavenged pieces of a dragon's body. Oh yeah, I've done that. They say they found them at the end of a trail of light falling from a sky that was dancing through this... 
at the film. <laughs> They found them at the end of a trail of light falling from a dragon that was dancing through the sky. Stories of what they found vary. I've heard of folks recovering scales, claws, fangs, and horns, too. And some kind of shiny rock? Not sure what body part that had come from. Dragons are supposed to be uh, immense in size, so I bet even a little chunk of their bodies would be big to you and me. <laughs> Chatting with you has got me fired up with a spirit of inquiry. Okay, cool, man. Yeah, I'll leave this here for you, Benny. <laughs> you, you can have that traveler sword. It's all yours. not got okay so i kind of just want to take a look that looks like a place where there would be something i don't know just a gut feeling been down to makar island i was also surprised that there was nothing there if i recall correctly so we're gonna take a trip to here's the here's the game plan i'm gonna go up to mount drena from here uh and then down to elma Knowles, and then i'll head downstairs to it looks like there would be a yiga hideout here and a light route to get, which means there must be a shrine nearby up here. So maybe we'll try and find the shrine to get the light route as well. You know, all that good stuff. So that's the game plan. But first, we're going to take a quick bathroom break here, folks. So everybody go pee. It's the rule. You have to. Sorry. No, you don't have to. I'm just kidding. But do it if you, if you need to, then, then do it. And we'll be right back. BRB, everybody.
Welcome back, friends. I hope you had a relieving... Oh, that was good timing. I hope you had a relieving bathroom break. I hope it was good. I got smoothie. <laughs> but actually, before I open it... I'm gonna enjoy the ambiance here. I'm gonna refill my coffee, too. Because I should finish my coffee, because I don't want to double fist it. Mmm, coffee good. That's the end of that. Oh, you know what as well? Actually, I'm gonna pause. I meant to show you what I got in the mail. I'm just gonna open the box. I couldn't believe it. I saw it available, so I put an order. It was on back order for like, probably a month or so. But it was the first time it's been restocked in like eight years. So Wolf Link Amiibo in box at retail price at Best Buy. Screw you scalpers. <laughs> <laughs> I play the long game. <laughs> I remember when Wave One of Amiibos launched. So like, well, first of all, okay. So I had. I have this amiibo already. I have a Wolf Link amiibo, but I unboxed it foolishly back in like 2016 because I wanted to use it. But then I was like, oh man, I really want one in box. I really do. So now I've got it. Now I got one. But, um, urgent work job. All right, Charles, no worries. Take care, man. Thanks for hanging out. There are, there are so many times where, like, the, the amiibo market is insane. Okay, is that, that's what I'll say. Um, so, like, when Wave 1 launched in, like, 2014, which is crazy, 10 years ago. Holy cow. Um, the Smash Bros. series, like, Marth Amiibo was, like, a hot item, for example. And people were selling it online for, like, 80 bucks. I'm like, this is a little $12 figurine. You're selling it for $80. That's ridiculous, right? Just ridiculous. Uh, so I didn't buy one for a long time, and then like years later, it was probably like 2018 or so, I found I found one a reprint in store, bought it for the $12, and I was like, screw you scalpers, I'm not paying 80 freaking dollars for this yeah. thing, so you know, um, same goes for when I when I got my chic from the Smash Bros. series Amiibo. I don't, I, I, if I can pay retail price, I will pay retail price. And I will wait it out so that I can pay said retail price. I will play the long game. There's a little spot here I didn't go to, looks like. Let's just check this out real quick. There could be something there. Oh, there is. There's a big boy. <clears throat> okay, I don't, I don't need that beacon there, actually. Because I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to look at that guy. <laughs> <sighs> do I have a photo of Captain Construct Three? I do not. But but now I do. But getting lucky and finding some Zelda me was at anime conventions like Wolf Link at a con. Got Wolf Link at a con. Don't know how much it costs, but it was def close to retail price. Nice. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, like starve the scalpers out. You know. Sorry, Captain Construct 3. 
But I'm actually not. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I am not actually sorry. Hmm. Deja vu. Anyways. <laughs> so that's nice. Personal favorites? I'm, I guess, well, Wolf Link is a fave already. I think it's one of the best looking amiibos. It's very detailed. Um, the 8-bit ones. Pretty much all the Zelda ones. But the, there's um, <clears throat> like 8-bit Mario and 8-bit Link are really cool. I really like them. Um, what else we got? I got a lot of Splatoon ones. You can't really see them properly on the shelves. Maybe you'll get a better look of it tonight when I'm on uh, the Nintendo Prime podcast and I'm using a better camera and it's bigger. But yeah, those ones are really nice. Big fan of those ones. Um, it's ridiculous, but the Detective Pikachu one, because he's just humongous. He's huge. <laughs> so that one's a good one. Um, oh yeah, Zelda with Loftwing is a, is a really nice one too. And all the Metroid ones are, are good. I like the squishy Metroid. Um, so yeah, man. I know this was a bit of a wishy-washy answer, but there's lots of really, really nice ones. A lot of the Smash Bros. ones, I'm like, eh. Some of the later ones are good. Like the DLC fighters for Smash Ultimate. Some really nice ones there. Like the uh, Banjo. Banjo and Kazooie. So that's a good one. Yeah, lots of, uh, lots of good ones. Lots of goodies. Some of the, <clears throat> it's funny, it's like you put some of the newer ones, which, like, they, they really raise the quality. You put some of the newer ones side by side with some of, like, the Wave 1 Amiibos, and you're like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. They definitely improve the quality. T.O.T. Gazelda as a late personal birthday gift. Love that. Love that. Too zoomed in here. Yeah, we're gonna go up along the mountain ridge here. Yeah, that's great. Oh, there'll be a shrine around here too. Well, there was a. Oh, he's still there. Shoot, shoot. I was like, oh, I thought he disappeared. And now he disappeared. Great. All right. So, you know what's interesting? So, I was just looking at this fog. The fog around the Lost Woods here. Pre-release of this game, I thought that, like, the Lost Woods or the Deku Tree was just, like, missing. Because you can't see the Deku Tree through the fog anymore. Which you could in Breath of the Wild. I remember thinking, like, seeing trailers, I was like, why is the Deku Tree just gone? But they just, like, hid him. So, so strange. So strange. Oh, the awkward plastic stands? Oh, yeah. Okay, so like a good example. Hold on. Sorry. A good example of that is actually... Yeah. The, like, <sighs> awkward pose Smash Bros. Link Amiibo from 2014. Where he's just got, like, the weird piss yellow piece of plastic and and his face is just like doesn't look quite right you know and then you compare that to like the young link one for smash ultimate that came out years later it's like holy cow this one is like so much better so much more detailed and like his face actually looks like link's face um as opposed to this guy's face it just doesn't really like look right <laughs> you know what i mean like, it's like, whoa, it's, like, such an improvement. So, yeah, good stuff. As I'll put those back later, but, uh, yeah, that's great. But they never re-released, like, a Link one for, uh, Smash Ultimate. Because Smash Ultimate has the, uh, Breath of the Wild design for Link. As opposed to the Twilight Princess design that uh, Smash for Wii U had. 
So. It's too bad. Too bad. But yeah, like it's it's like it's it's crazy how much better the quality is. Uh, but it's great. I'm I'm glad to have better quality stuff. <laughs> That's a good thing. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's dark in here. All right. Okay. So it's inward of the shrine. I wasn't sure. Something I, I, I wasn't sure if there would have something hidden behind. I want to put it back to Bubble Frog, though. I know it's not. There's not gonna be Bubble Frog in here, but okay, we got a light. I freaking love dark areas in these games. I don't know what it is about it. Just like the limited visibility is great. Oh my god, we got a locked door. We got a shrine with a key in it. The best. That is the best. I just love the design of the Zonai, like, keys and, and the locked doors in these shrines. I think they just look so good. So, so good. Ooh, spiky death. Hmm. More spikies. You know what's, um, I don't remember this shrine. I've played this, I played this game to 100%, but I don't remember this shrine. So, I mean, that's great. More keys. Yeah, we do. Okay. It's a... L Do you know what that was just now? Oh, there's the key. Nice. You know what this was? A freaking lid. It's a lid. If you know, you know. Zone 9 lids. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right. I think it was working better just to hold this. Freaking lids, guys. Okay, that's not the only treasure chest here, though. It's not the only treasure chest. We got lasers. Mm hmm. That doesn't look very friendly right there. Above. Oh, there's a treasure chest right here. Oh. Right here. Okay, there's still more treasure chests. Spiky death wall. I'm having a good time here. Okay, but what's gonna happen? If I touch the laser, does that unleash the spiky death wall? It does. Gubs. Spikes. Oh, 
Oh, and that's as far as it goes. Okay. Well, I just wanted to see. Just wanted to see what would happen. Okay, this is the way I already came. Yeah. That's where I found the key. So that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the entrance. Okay. Wait, there's more. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, there is one. Oh. That was that was tricky. Okay. Luminous stones. That's the way it came. Now we got two paths. Let's go right first. Oh. Spikes of pointy pain. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, this is where we've been. Okay. So there's a little loop in the path, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Should I turn the treasure chest sensor on? ceiling looks cool. And that's where the big spiky wall of death is, so... Wait, hear me out, okay? Okay, hear me out. I was thinking there might be something like behind it. Do you know what I mean? But it seems there was not. Because that, that would have been cool. Would have been a cool place to hide a little goodie. Double check. One more. One more check. Because I did turn around for a moment just to throw that bright loom. Would have been terrible if that was the one moment where something showed up. Nope. Nope. Okay. You thought the same thing. That's if I were designing a shrine I think that's if I were designing this shrine that's where I would have put something there's gotta be there's probably just one more treasure chest Should have done the bright blooms here from the start. Okay, so that's where, I, yeah, key. Oh well. It's all good. <laughs> I would also make sure there were more keys. <laughs> I mean, maybe not just in this shrine, but in general, yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's 
Wait, there's like a ray of light from the ceiling. And it's like illuminating like just this spot. I thought that might be of something of significance, but it's not. But it's not. Interesting. Wait, okay, hear me out. This might sound silly. Let's go back to the entrance for a sec. Would they put the treasure chest behind this door? But frick, like even the door open animation was so cool. Okay, I'm gonna do it then. We're gonna go down to treasure chest as our target. Yoink, bring that over here. hidden very well hidden and a zonite bow okay i will ditch i had a construct bow i'm gonna ditch that in favor of the zonite bow oopsie that was good that was that was a great okay i already have a photo of it that was a great spot Okay, and that's it now. So I guess if you took the time to look up, <laughs> you would see it. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that shrine. That was a fun one. That was a that was a fun one. Tricky, tricky. Coming in with the 29 months of membership here. Thank you, Natsu. Greg is coming. Soon. Soon. Thanks so much, Natsu. How you doing, man? How you doing? How you been? Bing. Very nice, thank you, statues. Oh, and then it's dark. Dark is dork. You be doing tired? Oh man, I feel you there. I feel you there. 
Oh, good. I did go down this well. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let us continue. It's a rock. <clears throat> oh, half day work at job number two and 20 minutes before I head to job number one. Oh, not so I didn't realize you were doing multi employment. Or do you mean job as in task or job as in place of work? I could never. One job's enough. <laughs> but man, I uh, hope you can get some rest. I mean, I know you've got the whole insomnia thing happening, but still. I wish you the best, my friend. not the right thing. Just gonna take this. Great. Got him. Job number one is construction stuff. Job number... Or concert stuff, sorry. Job number two is the whole friend construction thing, but I'm getting paid hourly, so I consider it a job. A job job. Fair enough. Fair enough. I got you now. I got you. Oh man. Don't overwork yourself either. That's no fun. Hmm. Places to go. Looks like there's a monster camp down here. Let's go check it out. Yeah, at those hours? Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's straight up employment, my, my friend. <laughs> Shoot me while I'm shooting your friend. Oh, all those fire fruit are rolling away. I just totally missed that shot. Shout goats! Where was there was another one? Or did it despawn? It might have despawned. It might have rolled too far. Alright, alright. I see how it is. What's this? Oh, that's just the bow that that guy dropped. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, I guess. Ooh, we got sploosh fruit. They just hijacked some of this Hudson construction stuff. That guy was not... Not maybe the best person to put on guard duty. Good night, Mr. Moblin.
Good night, Mr. Bokoblin. Hmm. 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 Son and done. With the palm fruit? Wait. Did I pick up a palm fruit? Did I neglect to pick up a palm fruit? What did I do? <laughs> I've done something wrong. So I'm like torn between trying to like, you know, I think I would rather quick shot than durability, but this bow is partially used. So it's like, well, how much durability is even left on it? It's like the mental struggle, constant mental struggle. Neglected. Okay, we're going back for it. <laughs> we're going back for it. <laughs> for palm fruit. I didn't even, I don't think I even saw it, so I was too honed in on fire fruit, slash also killing those guys. Oh, oh man, did I even pick up the Aracuda's eyeballs and wings and stuff, all his goodies? Did I harvest the body? I don't think I did even. Also, welcome back, Rin. You can say sorry all you like, Rin, but I know you. There you go. There you go. We're all good. We got that palm fruit. Anyways, welcome back. Welcome back, Rin. Doggos, can you don't? I don't like doing this. Sweet dreams, Mr. Moblin. Oh, that's not a sneak strike at all. <laughs> well, still die. You too. <laughs> it wasn't a silver, I guess, so... I think it's fine, but also, rip. Oh. Oh, little Boko. You can't alert your friends. They are... They are dead. No, I just wanted it. I just wanted it. Okay, fine. No! Oh, okay, good. They didn't burst. It's all good. It's all good. I didn't want them to burst right next to those explosive barrels. It's all cool, man. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. She's way up over near there. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, I still have treasure chest selected. Maybe I'll put it on shrine. But real quick. Dragon related detour. Just just a little dragon related detour. A detour, if you will. They are the best. I agree. I'm glad you agree. I'm glad you understand.
Okay, actually, let's put on our glide set. And we'll bring out Tulin to give us some boosts. Just a little boost. I think we could probably just glide the rest of the way like this. Thank you, Tulin, for your services. Cool. Now, let me take a look at sort by type. Our dragon related goodies two horns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A lot of those. I have one scale. Hmm. You know what, though? I don't think I need them for anything else, so I'm just gonna... take a piece of horn. Because I've already got the champion's tunic upgraded. Or champion's leathers, I should say. Fully upgraded, so... So you knew. Woo. <laughs> and I don't tend to use dragon parts for cooking because I'm just like, yeah, I don't I don't tend to need it. So. So you know. That might be it all. That might be all the goodies to get. They tend to be more towards the front end of the dragon, you know. Cool. Okay. Now. Yeah, let's just go down from here. New, Because why not? So it's funny, actually. Uh, I've mentioned it <laughs> a lot lately that I'm replaying Breath of the Wild on the side. And, like, this area where this stable is is, like, in hindsight, like, so weirdly empty in that game. It's like there's just, like, nothing here. Um, and... So, so moving, like, a stable here and putting, like, something of importance like this, like the geoglyph, uh, definitely was a good choice, if you ask me. Which I know you didn't, but that's okay. <laughs> Ooh. Really? Actually, you know, did I... Oh, I wonder if it's... Because there's usually a Korok at each geoglyph. So I wonder if I missed the one that's here. Oh, is it this? Is right here, isn't it? <laughs> is there anything there in Breath of the Wild? In this spot? No, there's just nothing. It's like just a grass field. There's some Bokoblins on horseback, and that's it. That's all there is in this in this whole spot. This whole area. So, you know... Mm -hmm. Also, Lucky Black, welcome to the stream. Natsu, have a good rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Oh, you know what? You know what I want to do? Yeah, let's see. Mm, yeah, we'll do it maybe after I fight these guys. I attached a sword. This one. I want to I wanna use that. Or I want to retrieve it off of my shield. But I will... Fight these guys first. Because there's a boss Boko. Oh, he's just a red guy.
You know what? Though I'm going to put it back on Bubble Frog. Bubble Frog. They're really relentless. The bees! Oh, lucky like you joined the Discord. Did you respond to the welcome message? In the Discord? Because we, we do have instructions on that. Uh, just to keep bots out or people who spam and stuff. So we like the what? So I'm going to guess not. <laughs> if you join the Discord. Uh, oh. oh I lit them on fire. Uh, we, have a ver we have a process. We, we offer a welcome message. We say, hey, welcome to the server. Please answer these questions. And then we'll set you up to, to be able to access the rest of the server. And if you don't answer, we just, we just don't. So that's probably probably what happened uh, but if you're in the chat here we'll we'll count that these bees are still after me are you kidding <laughs> also hey Stefan welcome welcome how long ago did you join the server it must have been a while We just asked for you, uh, yeah, if you can just respond in the, in the welcome chat, just, uh, and make sure to confirm your age too, actually, because we do have a, uh, an age restriction on, on the server as well. But otherwise, uh, I guess Rin's getting you set up. It was August. It was August that long ago. Wow. Of course they'd be relentless. Yeah, that's fair enough, actually. That's fair enough. Um, yeah, I agree with that, Eric. I, I, do, I don't mind it, uh, per se, having, like, kind of big open areas. It's just, like, weird. It never bothered me in Breath of the Wild. It's just weird going back to it after playing this game because it's like, oh, there's something important there. And it's like, oh, now there's just nothing. I don't know if that makes sense. I've, uh, yeah, but, uh, but yeah, okay, good stuff, good stuff, thanks for confirming, rest in peace, Bokos, okay, here's what I'm gonna do, is I broke that weapon, so I'm gonna put a travel down. I'm gonna steal this behind. And I'm gonna warp to Terry Town. <laughs> and the bees will never get me. <laughs> They'll never get me. Cool, cool stuff. Yeah. Looks like Rin's getting you all set up here in the Discord, so. But, uh, there we go. Palisin. Yes, this one with the eightfold blade. Ba -da -bum -bum. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now, let's put on a Nadra horn. Wait, that's the one I'm. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. There we go. We got a matching set. We got a dragon sword. 
and a dragon sword and a dragon sword <laughs> life feels good and they look good too great thank you palison and actually i've just got some gloom weapons mm hmm mm hmm Some gloomy gloom weapons. Ah. Okay, we'll take one of those off too. Ah. Oh. <laughs> September 18th? No way. No way your birthday's September 18th. Ah. That's, uh, that's my wife's birthday. Normally I don't like putting a sword on a sword, but uh, actually, you know what I could do is, well, I can always just eat the hearts. I'm going to ditch this one. Sorry, strong Zonite sword. And... Hmm. Let's, oh, okay, you know what? Let's, let's, let's go to my house for a sec. Let's go to my house for a sec. The afternoon sun is coming in. Oh yeah, my partner uh, is also September 18th, so. Birthdays are funny. Valentine's baby, almost. Oh no, exactly. I don't know what I said almost. I don't know why I said that. Exactly, Valentine's Day, baby. February 14th. I misread it the first time. Right. Oh, I forgot about my great photo. <laughs> Incredible, Grante, to be able to paint that. All right. Uh, let's. This is the only way upstairs, but that's cool. Let's see, I got, I got. Great decor in this house. Oh, I do have a wreath on here. Cool. Let's put this one. There we go. That's nice. We got some bows on display. Hmm. You know what? I take issue with how this is... Uh... I don't like the... Uh... The one that's longer like that being like on the side it should be in the middle but then the glowing one mm, there's no right answer there's no winning hmm oh well You know what, though, I should do? Uh, I don't have space for another shield. I could ditch one just for the sake of this joke. Oh, no, I know what I could do. Hold on. I know what I can do. Hold on. Okay, we're going to take that just for, for the mom. Just for a mom. Okay. This is this is ridiculous, but but you're just gonna have to you're just gonna have to roll with it with me. Okay, Wait, I didn't leave anything on the floor, right? Okay, good stuff. I'm totally just getting distracted from what I was initially going to do. I like set pins on the map. I'm gonna go here and then here and then here. Totally just <laughs> getting distracted. It's fine. It's fine. That's the end of my coffee. Long in the middle was the right choice. I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh, it's hot. Oh, no, not in town, though. Okay, hold on. I'm just going in here. To Not in here, sorry. I'm getting some decorations for my house. 
Riju, nice to see you. I'm taking this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll be on my way. <laughs> I'll be on my way now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a work of art. Coffee good. Coffee good. Definitely worth the trip. <laughs> it's definitely worth the trip. There we go. It's perfect. <laughs> Great. All right. There we go. Um, and I don't think there's any other weapons I should display in here. I guess I could put the boulder breaker, uh, which is looking very normal. Uh, very good good addition speaking of birthdays oh my gosh eric thanks for coming in 12 months as one year on the membership thanks so much man i appreciate it i really do y'all are so great for real the best thank you so much eric i think your badge gets a little upgrade too i think because it's the one, unless it's next month, then that you get the the new badge. I don't remember if that's the the one year one or not. I don't know. I don't know things, but I am gonna open my smoothie. Okay, now I'm gonna separate those two shields that I fused together. Because I only fused them so that they wouldn't like go to waste. There we go. Also, hey, Professor F. Welcome. There we go. Good stuff. Shields. Okay. Now we'll go back to where I placed that travel medallion. Now we go back. We've been doing just such normal things today. <laughs> such such normal behavior. Totally. Totally normal. <sighs> okay. I seem to recall there being a quark to bring to this island, but I don't remember if I have to bring him from here or from like more here. Let's see how well memory serves me. If he, if there is one, even it might it might be from the other. Oh no, it's not a korok to bring. It's not a korok to bring at all. It's a thing instead. Thank you, Tulin. Nailed it. Normality, yes. Normality. <laughs> Instead of finish it, it's just do it. <laughs> Even before I land, hey, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to overwork the guy. Why is there arrows in the ground here? Hmm, that's suspicious. Remember when there was a big thing here? Some flint, like a lot of flint and arrows. 
That's weird. Like, a lot of flint and arrows? Hello? Why? That is strange. Oh. So it's both. I was like, I wasn't sure if there was a, uh, a guy to bring from here to here or or to bring from here to here. I guess it was kind of both. There you go. I'll just make those job labor laws, exactly. <laughs> oh, I don't even have a sword equipped. Oops. I have a stick. I have a stick equip. Equip stick. It's gonna go back to the island, right? Yeah, back to... Oops. He was actually hoarding all of that stuff. Or maybe it was the crows. Or maybe it was that Korok hoarding a bunch of stuff. And I just stole... He's like, oh, I was gonna start my campfire. Where'd all my flint go? <laughs> Oops. Okay. <laughs> Where's all my flint? There is a, a raft right there that we could use. But, um, that's boring. Um... There's a lot of planks here. Okay, well, first things first. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna. <laughs> we're gonna br we're gonna make a bridge. Okay. Um, that's not how you do it. <laughs> I've recently discovered that, like, stakes are really great. I, I, I don't, I think I barely used stakes in my first playthrough. But, but I, I'm all for them. It's gonna be a big bringe. a little lower. Or, okay, I have a better idea. Hold on. I wonder if this will work. It might be too steep then, actually. It's caught under. Yeah, I was like, why can't I lift it? Hold on. That's it. It's a little janky. That's okay. The jankier the better, right? That's what we always say. This is I need to reach my friend. I know, it's okay. It's okay. You're slow. I'm just trying to pick him up. This is definitely not the most efficient way of doing this. That raft over there, that that would have been more efficient. Oh, it just just doesn't quite reach. But almost. <laughs> almost. stable. Screw efficiency. Exactly. Alright. Hmm. 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Well done, well done. Also, I'm stealing this lizard. Kidnapping a lizard. Maybe it is just crows stealing shiny stuff, though. Yeah. Brilliant Bringe. Thank you. Thank you. It was not efficient. It was not an efficient way to do it. Again, that raft is right there, but... <laughs> Oh, you know what I should have done is just taken the raft <laughs> and used that as part of the bridge. <laughs> that's that's what I should have done. Ah, uh, but alas. Ooh, again? Again? Ah. for this. Cool. Oh, Bringe reminded you of that because it has your name, Rin, in the middle of it. You can't have a Bringe without Rin. Ooh, golden apple. Hey, remember when I was going to go here? <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> okay, um, we have some things. I'm gonna use this. Yeah, great, that makes it a pulverizer. There's a plan all along, yeah. I saw a battle talus up here, though, so I'm, I'm going up there to fight it first. And then I'll get back on track, maybe. No promises. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> but maybe. They're all confused. Oh, just the three of them. Okay. Hello, Battle Talus. Good night, Battle Talus. Can't have cringe without Rin either. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> Did I see a piece of amber go flying off? Uh, I wonder. Well, if I did, I don't see it now. What's that? Is it, is it just a stick? I can't tell.
Oh, it's the bow. It's the Boko bow. That really went flying. Whack. Okay, well, cool, 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 cool. Very cool. Oh yeah, yeah. I never watched that show, but but I've I know of it. It's a fringe. Okay. All right. I think I think I'm gonna just warp on back. The battle talus was just too enticing. Too enticing. Great. And this tree, this is where the frog memory once was. A frog related memory. Down at the bottom of a tree. Apple. a thing to pick up? I thought I saw a prompt, but now I don't see a prompt. No prompts for me. That's okay. Let me frog. Frog? Frog? Everyone on Earth is cringe. This is true. This is true. Why did it fade out like that? <laughs> Why? Why? Oh. oh, I'm using the wrong bow. Oops. Oh, well. It's fine. There be a Hinox. There be a Hinox. There he is, Mr. Hinox. Get ready to say goodbye, Nox. <laughs> so funny. Oh. Oh. Goodbye, Nox. <laughs> ah. Anyways. How's this one? 38 and quick shot. I'll take it. Quick shot is good. 20. Oh, 23. That's really good. Let's see how's this one. 20, but one handed. Hmm. <laughs> I just took this off a shield. I would be it would be remiss to put it back on one, but Okay. I'm not gonna per se because I'm going to put it on the end of this broad sword. Cool. That's a sword. And 60 is still good. As for this one, hmm, yeah, we'll just slap, uh, apparently I'm not allowed to hold it. We'll just slap one of these onto this one. Cool. Very good. Very, very good. There's a well here. 
by the first golden apple. Hmm, someone had a campfire. Campfire in a well. Well, well, well. Is this well a chasm? Or is it just really dark? There's no gloom, though. There was a dead journal? I did not know that. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Why was there a dead journal? Why would you name... That's really funny. Okay, we got the horror blends. Come on down, buddy. Come on down. Who do you think you are, huh? is this well cave oh there's a shrine oh you know what that's got to be yeah because I was like oh there's gonna be a shrine here because there's no because there's a light route so and now, now it makes sense it makes sense now all right, this was a pleasant little surprise. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Like, I want it, but I don't have the inventory space for it. Mm-hmm. Alas. Okay. Frog! Don't jump in the water, frog. He jumped in the water. I didn't I didn't want to Okay, we got him. It's all good. Frog secured. Frog secured. That sounds really cool. Doing a f Zelda fan fiction with characters takes place in Breath of the Wild, Hyrule's two users of the kingdom. And try to recreate the shading style. So far, it looks okay. Uh, I'm not. I uh, I would have no advice on on fixing the shading, but that is that is really cool. Not gonna lie. Super cool. Bada bing, bada boom. A little auto build there. And actually, let's just slap a light onto there as well. Because why not? Please? There we go. <laughs> There's a lot of stalactites. Okay, well let's just uh, let's just back it up a little bit. Let's just back it up a little bit.
Oh, we got a, uh... Treasure chest. Very nice. You know what, actually, I'm gonna do? That's more effective than the light. By a lot. Just having a look around. A lot of fishies. All that good stuff. But okay, Mr. Like Like, he's grumpy. Oh no no don't Oh, it's in the water, so I think it'll I think it will not burn. Solid shield. Good shield for sure. That I don't have the space for. What a pleasant, what a pleasant discovery. A little well that leads to a big cave. Nice shrine. Okay, I want to try something real quick here. And that is... I just want to see. Okay, it breaks the horn. Cool. Now I know. That. It just shatters the horn. Da -da -da -da. An alternate path. Interesting. Very interest. In we go. Very nice. Large charge. We got that large charge. Yeah, Stefan, you're you're right about that too. It's like the Uh, sort of pressure from King Rome that's expressed in that story. It's like, yeah, I f you, you just can't help but feel bad for Zelda. Oh, you knew. Zelda's lullaby is hidden in Sheik's theme. Huh? <laughs> Explain. And I'm very curious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly, Stefan. It's, it's like... Yeah, everything you just said. Everything you just said. There's a video... Oh... I think... You know what? If it's what I'm thinking of, there might be a... Um, Someone might have posted that video in the Discord, and I didn't watch it yet because I was like, hmm. Um, was it this Zelda music theory video? I've seen it. I've seen it pop up a bunch. Um, but I, I didn't watch it yet because I... It's in my, it's in my yeah. watch list. That's the one, okay. 
Okay, interesting. I'll have to give that a watch. That's the one. Thank you, Randall. I will definitely give that a watch. Woo! We went far up. Look how far from the well this is, too. Crazy. But good. Okay, that's where I wanted to go. But hold on, is that Bokoblin riding a bear? <laughs> well, they've upped their game. Okay. All right, but I'm going to fight this monster camp first. Uh, whoa. Whew. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Moblin. Hmm, I've got weapons, that's for sure. Ouch. That was rude. I'll take that. He doesn't have the good best aim here. He does not. Ooh, one arrow. Can you, like, this is the logic. People packing crates in Hyrule. Get a huge crate like that, and they're like, let's put inside of it one apple. Yes. And they're like, Do, don't you think we could fit more apples in there? No. We cannot. <laughs> we cannot. One apple per crate. <laughs> Maybe they just had a, a crate surplus. They just have like a lot of crates and they're like, it. just use them for <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, Amazon shipping moment. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Picking up what I'm putting down. One arrow per crate. That is all you get. Where's that? Oh, there he is. Boko riding a bear. Man. Man. You're free, bear. Oh, he's really free. He's gone. He took off out of reality. He said, peace out. I'm out of here. I don't I don't blame him. What fabric is that? Oh, my paraglider fabric. Which one do I have? I think it's the Yeah, it's the King of Red Lions fabric. Um Yeah. You can get it from the Toon Link amiibo. It's a good. Bear is free. Hmm. I thought this might be a climb the tallest tree type of Korok. Uh, oh, interesting. Interesting. Well, um, hold on, let's see. That's not a one that I can lift. No, it's not. Also, I'm just gonna. Sorry, Boko. Okay, if this doesn't work, I'm just going to use a hover stone, but we're going to try this first. Oh. 
All right then. <sighs> really? I heard that. Okay. No, I wasn't trying to hit him. Just the tougher stone. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's okay. He's okay. <laughs> um, one I really recommend, fanfic comments, is... Uh, I've talked about it before. So I apologize if the, you know, redundancy. But it's called... Um, it's on Instagram. Linked Universes. Uh, very fun. Fanfic. Really, really did well with, like, the different uh, sort of characterizations of Link. That is a fabulous pigeon. I freaking wish rainbow pigeons were real. Do you know how much better downtown would be? <laughs> if if we had rainbow pigeons instead of just gray boring pigeons. Maybe they're real and I just don't know, but, but, but I wish that they were local to where I live. <laughs> Elma Knoll's Chasm. Okay. Going down. Interesting. Oh, that laser foiled my plan. <laughs> I was going to land on the thing. <laughs> so rude. Can you... Where did his glider end up? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Have I been here before? No, it seems not. Okay, good stuff. There's one that's similar to this, I think, that I have been to. read a thing even the faintest light stands out in this darkness just look at the deep firefly still the lights I've been seeing lately have been strange they seem ethereal and they disappear when I get close all of the eager reports seeing them 
but no one has observed their true form. Some say they're just a different species of firefly. But can that be true? I wonder if that's just a rumor spread by collectors who want to chase off competition. Glory to Master Koga. <laughs> Using time reversibility to locate things in the dark. It's definitely a very Zelda, um, very Zelda moment slash mechanic for sure. For sure. Bada -ba -bing -a -ba -boom. Yep. Also, hey, bunny, this is not Stranger Things 3. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. You are not wrong about that. Interesting. All right. Okay. So there was a shrine up here. So there should be a light route around. But first I'm just gonna, you know, poke around. Poke around the Yiga's goodies. you say ooh rockets you say don't mind if I do rockets you say okay oh and there's the light route perfect you yo link you can link it's okay link you can there we go Wee And here we are. No, give me that pin. The, let me... Pin? There's a pin? Let me... Let me take the pin out. Okay. Forgot it. <laughs> oh, no worries, Alyssa. Appreciate you hanging out as much as you can. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it, appreciate it. Cool, very cool. He was moonwalking, or he was doing something. I don't know what he, I don't know what Link was doing. He was having a good time, though. I hope, I hope he was having a good time.
mm-hmm. Okay. Now we've still got a little bit of time left on the stream here. But uh, but we're going to take a second little bathroom break before we go any further. But I think I'm going to just hang out in the depths here for a little bit for the rest of the stream, I think. Maybe maybe next week we'll continue with like a depth exploration stream. Finish up this map or, you know, get as much map as we can. But, uh, but yeah, we'll be back in just a moment, friends. So, BRB, okay? Okay, and welcome back, friends. I hope you had a relieving bathroom break. I hope it was everything you dreamed of and more. And I hope you washed your hands. Uh, let's continue, shall we? Shall we? We shall. We shall. Bombs. Okay, I saw um. Uh, oh, I saw other thing. Um, mm, mm -hmm. Now that I'm off of there, <laughs> I can get the pin. <laughs> Dang pin! There we go. This is gonna break. Oh, not quite. But soon. Here. Frocks! Little baby frocks! Oh, I, I do. I did. Hey! Come over here! Okay, thanks.
Beautiful. Oh, more bombs. Wait. Can you? No. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night. Oh, when they eat the lights, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's legit. But I love them. I love them. I'm not sure if they're actually baby, fr like baby frogs, or if they're just a different species of frogs that's way smaller. You know, I'm not actually sure. But they're cute, so they're they're babies in my brain and in my heart. Hmm. And there's a spear, a soldier spear. Okay. And they grow really slowly. What's the mortality rate like? Like, think about how many adult frogs there are, like, in the whole dang place. The frogs with their infant mortality rates. No! So anyways, soldiers... Oh, 20, though, actually, for base damage for a spear? That's honestly pretty good. Just saying. It's a pretty good attack up buff. Frogs do have a lot of babies. That's true. All them frog eggs. Where's all the frogs' eggs at? I see a light root. And then there would be one roughly here, too. And that's close to treasure. We like treasure. Gotta get them treasures. Treasures are good. Hmm. In case you wanna build yourself a vehicle. Oh, and what's over there? Looks like another Giga hideout. Okay. Okay. Where the frogs exit? <laughs> that's 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 a question. I guess a question's a good starting point. I always say you should start you should start with a question. Ah dang it, I was hoping to get a little farther away. Oh, that was not. Okay. 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 He had it coming. Oh, there's another monster camp right there, too. Wow, okay. Okay, I do want to see, though, actually. So that's 20. Let's see, what's, what's this rock hammer's deal? Oh, it's just long throw. Okay, well. I'm gonna use this to break things. And uh, we're gonna just put. I'm just gonna put this right here so I don't lose it. If it despawns, I'm gonna be mad. Just saying. How was that? <laughs> I was like 
sure that was a headshot. And then it wasn't. Oops. Oh well. As you all know, I'm not good at this game, so... It makes sense I would not get the headshot. Because I have no skill. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonder I've gotten this far. <laughs> I'm never going to stop uh, referencing that. Also, hey Matt, hey Bonnie. How you doing? Careful you don't accidentally set off the big explosive boxes. Oop, oop. And why do they keep explosive barrels up here anyways? Ouch, what the heck? Bro. Well, I might as well just... That's nice. That spear did not despawn, so that's some good news. It did not. Oh, if you get the headshot, you're bad at the game. Oh, right, right. That makes more sense, actually. That actually makes way more sense. Thank you for correcting me. Showing me the error of my ways. Splat Daddy's the best name, but it's true. I've come across Splat Daddy a number of times. Um, as funny as Kinky Linky is, though, Alyssa. Because it is. I, I... <laughs> you, you know, Nintendo sometimes. I wouldn't want you to, like, lose your ability to play because of it. I have certainly seen some questionable names, though. But also... Uh, I've also seen posts of people like on Reddit where they name their character something inappropriate and then they get banned from, from online play. So, you know, there is that. But, also I don't know if it would fit. Maybe it would. I think you can have ten, maybe it would just fit. I think you can have like, something like ten characters or something. Ten, uh, sorry, ten letters. You know, that type of character. I missed. Keys. I missed again. Okay, Mr. Lazalfos is very fancy. Oh, I missed my flurry. I missed it. Mm. Bonnie! Alright, have a good time at work. Don't work too hard now. I'll know about it if you do. No, I'm just kidding. But, but for real. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for popping in. Even if it was just for a short time. Just for a short time. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Let me see. This one is 15 in durability. I'm just gonna use it to break all the stuff. I'm gonna ditch it. Ooh, jelly. Jelly? I'm full of arrows, okay. 
No more arrows for me. We are at 999 again. Uh, no. No one has played Pokemon. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure pretty much everyone has at least played a Pokemon game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just being... I'm just messing around. Didn't mean to stare at the ceiling. Um, but I'm going to put something on this. Uh, yeah, this looks good. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> Please excuse my bad jokes. Um... All right, I've already gotten distracted from the objectives that I set. We want to go here. There was a Yiga, Yiga base there. Yiga ga. Oh, Sprigatito's great. Yeah, super cute. Best friend, try to get you into the trading card game, but it's not for you. Started Arceus, but haven't finished it yet. Arceus was my favorite, um, favorite Pokemon game ever, I think. I really think so. I really enjoyed the Let's Go games. I know they were, like, very not difficult, but they were very nostalgic, you know? Um, I had a lot of fun with them. And that's, that's most important. But then they 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 um they sort of backload all of the challenge onto the post game, so it's like very easy, and then you get to the post game, and it's like, well, now here's all the actual hard stuff. <laughs> you're like, oh, okay, well that's fine. Is this this is probably closer to, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'll be honest, I just like I I tried, I started into um Scarlet. And I just like couldn't really get into it. I don't know why. I just wasn't feeling it. And that's okay. Maybe it's because I'd already played through Arceus, like, earlier that year. You can only... only so much Pokemon. You can only poke your mons so much. Bonk. But also... Yeah. Just wasn't feeling it, so I stopped. My kid loved it, though. He, he really enjoyed it. Uh, he played through Violet. And, and he likes it a lot. Arrows. Weird bit of a dip. <laughs> Arrow came racing down. Hmm. Also, we do love cats here. This is true. Zone 8! Zone 8! Gosh, I love it down here. I love it in the depths. I didn't need to break that crate. I knew there'd be arrows. And I think someone in the Discord said that, like, the Z-A is, like, Zeta. I was like, that's interesting. But, I don't know, uh, I can't verify the legitness of that. They said it was in reference to something else. That was, like, either in Pokemon or outside of it. I'm not sure. 
I don't know if things... Oh, that guy. I didn't see him charging at me. Oops. Oof. <laughs> Stop throwing your friends. Bro just kicked me over. Boop. Get that Zaza. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, I got hammer. I got this hammer. We're gonna break some rocks with it. Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're breaking rocks with a rock hammer. So first you get a rock on a stick and then you break rocks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow my socials. And if you like, if maybe share this video with fellow rock breaking enthusiasts who want to make a stick with a rock on it into a hammer and break rocks too. <laughs> Oof! I cannot pick up more of this. Don't forget Zonite Collector. Oh my bad, shoot. I've already alienated the whole Zonite Collector community. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just the worst. Just the worst. Wait, but how much Zonite did I have there? Oh, just a... F just a few. <laughs> just a little bit few pieces. Alright, we found another Yiga base. Man, these tree roots are gnarly. Gnarly, bro. Is he, what's he doing? He's like trying to look busy. He's like, I'm working, totally working. Okay, what? let's see what happens. I'm gonna just waltz in here. Hello, my fellow friend, fellow. He's zoned out, he's fully zoned out. Fully just like not paying attention. Oh, the battle town. Oh, it's okay, Ren. I, I wasn't counting. <laughs> so, oh, thank you so much, Ren. Appreciate you. Behold, this is. <clears throat> Hey man, um, how are ya? How you doing? Oh, that's gonna, that's, he's gonna feel that in his back in the morning. He is, he is gonna feel that. <laughs> he, he is definitely gonna feel that one. He is a he is a short king. Ooh, right in the back. Oof. 
his spine was shattered. Just, just annihilated. All right, then. Oh, oh, I see why. I understand. I didn't know there was a guy in there. Let's see what this journal shows. Too little short to be a Yiga, a Yiga foot soldier. <laughs> well played. Well played. Mm -hmm. Recently, Master Koga has been devoted to studying an amazing new power. It's rumored that this power can make new vehicles in an instant. Imagine the time his wisdom will save. Easing our exploration of the depths is worth the momentary diversion for Master Koga's primary goal. He sent a team to the abandoned mine in the depths under South Hyrule Field to follow a lead about this miraculous power. If Master Koga's predictions are correct, constructing machines in the dark depths will become much simpler. Glory to Master Koga. Oh, okay. Cool. I just, like, wouldn't want to build a base here. I mean, actually, I think they'd probably build the bases first. Pre-upheaval. Because Koga had been down here for a while. Since we knocked him down that big... Down the big Yiga hole. Cargo carrier. Okay, cool. Thanks for, for that. Can I, uh... Like how oh it really is just like a okay that's interesting oh I'm not allowed to oh I am allowed I'm allowed how tall am I I'm 510. I'm, I'm not a I'm not a tall guy. I'm like an average height guy. I say I'm 5'10, 5 5'11 5 in the morning. Or maybe 5'10 and a half in the morning. <laughs> maybe. There's bright blooms. Have I been over there before? No. Probably a Yiga trap. Probably. Do do do. Just going for a little walk. Getting distracted from the things that I was coming down here to do. Not rounding it up to six feet like guys do on their dating profiles. Well, I I mean, I guess I'm just not that insecure about it. <laughs> and also, I'm not on the market to date, am I? So, so there is that. 
Are you on investigation duty too? Hi, nameless researcher. Mm. I'll check out this huge rock pile. Sure, you can find piles of rocks all over, but none of them are this big, right? Right? Oh. Though I still saw weapons on top of it, just like the others. Mm. Mm hmm. Hi, it was me all along. Okay, what's going on? Please don't frighten people like that. It's a good thing you're in your investigation clothes, or I would have thought you were in the Yiga clan. Ha 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 Those aren't investigation clothes. Are you in the Yiga clan? Yeah, I am. Actually. Totally. Is this a joke to you? Pretending to be part of our clan is an unforgivable sin. This is for master. Oh no, who could have seen this coming? Oh my gosh, what a surprise. Anyways. I don't think I've got the, uh, yeah, I do not have, well, I could ditch this. And then I'll have the inventory space. I just keep getting more and more off track. Okay, let's see, we got a... Excuse me, a soldier spear, a claymore, and a boomerang. 24, hey, that's pretty good. Let's see. Yeah. This one is 10 with long throw. Okay, we're taking the claymore. Beauty. Oh, wait, shoot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Mm hmm. Side try. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, every time. Frox! Oopsie. So many frogs. So many frogs. Okay, here's the plan. Let's get to the next light route, which is just this blue one over here. And then, and then we'll go and uh, do what we usually do at the end of the stream to wrap things up. Oh, a knight's halberd. No, I'm good. Actually, let's just let's at least just take it down so it'll reroll next time. That's the place I was just at, though, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Because it is getting close to two o'clock here. Ooh. Horses. Some horses. There's some horses over there. Doobie doobie. Shiny. Shiny for everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. The title of the stream is accurate. Just that part didn't take very long. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We did do that. We did do the thing that's in the title. You know, I, I have to call the stream something. 
otherwise every stream will just be called shenanigans or whatever <laughs> so <laughs> You know. But yeah, this game is... Uh, the game title is definitely correct. In that it's just a, a series of me getting sidetracked over and over again. Lindor Canyon Mine. So many zonites. Okay, let's get the treasure that's here. And all these goodies, 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 and goodies. So many goodies. So many. So many good goodies to get. Mm, let's see some hammers. <laughs> Great question, Matt. Definitely a game I've never played before. Totally. Oh, tunic of time. All right. It's a very fashionable tunic, I would say. It is. It's, it's one of my faves. That's a goodie. But also, uh, it's not exactly upgraded for defense like this one is, so. Good goodies are good to get. That's the truth. That's all we get. I see how it is. <laughs> Just one. Just one. I'm not mad. Just disappointed. Okay. We're going to do what we do every end of stream. And that is go and kill some Lynels. Because of reasons. It's like the end of stream ritual. You know? That's a lid. Sorry if that was really loud. Um, <laughs> it might have been loud. Sometimes I like to click the lid. What can I say? Do I have a hammer? I don't go. I don't. I don't go. I don't go. No hammer. Okay. Uh, let's see. What can we... We could put one of these on there and that would make it a hammer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or... It only adds 12, though. Unlike the other ones, it adds 16. This one's 33. It's not going to look as nice. We're off to a great start. Okay.
Also, lids are great. It's true. We like lids. Ooh. It's gloomy. Here we go. I'm gonna pick up the bomb. 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 Okay. The worst when you're a store, and either no one is around, or you're too shy, and struggle to get something on the very top shelf. Oh. Oh. That's not fun. Oop. Oops, it's Link, you can do it. Link, you can do this. There we go. Yeah, so so I've definitely been guilty of just like looking over short people's heads. Um, so oops, definitely it's a thing. It can happen to anyone. <laughs> no, one time, um, Funny, funny short related story, short person related story. It was um, one year when I was at E3. Okay, so I'm a fan of that. You probably know the Kit and Krista podcast, though they're um, formerly were Nintendo Minute. And they were there at E3. Hold on, dude. I'm trying to just fuse a sword here, buddy. Anyway, so, um, Chris is quite short. And I learned that because when I saw them at E3, um, I, I initially only saw Kit. And I went to go talk to him and asked him to take a photo. And uh, in doing so, I had looked straight over top of Chris's head. <laughs> Then later on, I was on a podcast, and, and they were also on it as a guest. And then I had to... I it was off the air, but I was like, oh, I, I, Chris, I owe you an apology for for that incident. Um, but she, she had a good laugh. She had a really good laugh about it. She, she had a good sense of humor about it, so that was good. But I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I looked straight over your head. Like, I didn't even see her. I was just like, oh... Are you kid? Can we take a photo together? Or can we can you take a photo? And then he was like or he was like, sure, yeah, he was like super nice. And she's like, okay, I'll just wait over here. And I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> Didn't even see you. Oops. Um, so yeah. Oops. Oops. Ooh. Lionel going down. He gonna... He gonna... He gonna... Overlooked. Yeah, like literally overlooked. So my bad. So sorry. So sorry. Guilty. A lesson was learned that day. By me. It was me. I learned lessons.
Oof. Sorry about your knees, Mr. Lionel. Oh, 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 sorry. I'm just... It's not like I'm gonna run out of arrows. These guys all drop a bunch, but still. I could stand to aim more carefully. Oh, I did not mean to pick that up. Get on there, Link. Here we go. Oh, he's mad. He's angry. Oh, that was way too early. That was way too early. Way, way, way too early. Yeah, I mean, those are definitely some, some pros. Uh, lack of leg room's definitely... I'm not even like a tall, tall guy, but that's been an issue for me. Uh, like on planes and stuff, you know? So, you know. There's that. There's an advantage for you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like uh, I don't know about Andre's restart, but I know Nate. Um, Nintendo Prime is not. He's not a tall guy. <laughs> I've met him in person. He's he's not a tall guy. Um, and which is okay, by the way. I'm not saying that in, like, to shame him or anything. But, uh, it's just it's facts. I'm not a tall guy either. Now, Game Over Jesse, he's a tall guy. He's a, he towers over me. I see a photo of him and I next to each other. And I'm like, uh, maybe up to his shoulder. It's like a head taller than me. Goodbye, Mr. Lionel. I wouldn't be surprised if Andre is this tall guy, though. I I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. Nyum. Sorry, Mr. Lionel. This one does not have flurry rush, but I'm just gonna use it anyways. Okay. <laughs> Oof, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have thrown it. He's almost dead. So, I could, uh... Mm hmm Let's just hit him once. And that's it. Sufficient. That is sufficient. Buddy, how you doing? You're looking uh, mighty tall. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of which, be great to break this bow actually, so I can pick up the savage line of bow. Oh, speaking of. Uh, 
Well, there goes my shield, I guess. So I'll just pick up this one. <laughs> cool. Sounds good. And for bows, let's use this one. Boom, boom, boom. It's actually really funny when I, uh, uh, speaking of the height discussion, is, uh, I'm, I'm the tallest one in my family, for example. But, like, if I go out with my, my IRL friends, I'm, like, noticeably the short one. <laughs> like, in a very noticeable way. <laughs> and it's, it always cracks me up, just the, the difference there. There you go. Okay, we can drop that one. Great. Because, yeah, all my, all my IRL guy friends are over six feet. And I'm here. Just, you know. But it's okay, I'm the fun one. No, they're fun. They're fun, too. I'm, I'm actually probably not the fun one. <laughs> Uh, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I've come to I've come to terms with it. <laughs> Alright, that's everything we can pick up here. We have 999 arrows. We got arrows for days. Cannot carry more weapons or bows. Is there, should I take anything off a shield? I don't think... I don't think I can or need to. And that's okay. In that case, we're gonna just go back to here. How am I not the fun one? I keep fun friends. I keep good company. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because my friends are kind of impulsive sometimes. Well, it depends on which friends. Uh, but some of them are Im impulsive. I have one friend who's like, he'll be like, oh, I want to go on a road trip this weekend. I'm going to go to Europe in the summer. And take off three months of work. Just for fun. You want to come with? And I'm like, uh, no, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. No, that's just not going to happen. And he's like, okay, cool. He's chill. And then he's like, you know, goes off to Europe or whatever. And he has a great time. And I stay home. It's called having responsibilities. <laughs> So in that way, maybe I'm not the fun one. But, um, you know, he's also a bachelor. And uh, I I am married with 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 having children. No, I was going to say children. Just one child. So, you know, there's some, there's some lifestyle differences there. That's all. That's all. You know how it is. So yeah, we have a different definition of fun. I mean, it's not really my definition of fun, but he has fun. So that's 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 important. As long as I think it's most important if, uh, if say, uh, you and your partner have the same definitions of fun, I think that's the most important important one. You can have friends where you have different different ways of having fun. But I think as long as you and your partner are aligned on that. So, for example, oh, oh. for my wife and I, I like to stay in and play Splatoon. That's oh. fun for us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, you know, and I yeah. still go out and hang out with my friends. And we have drinks and stuff. So, it's, it's not like I'm super boring. You know. I'm not super boring. Oh, oh. He does have a lot more time. Hey, you see, yeah, you get it. You get it. You get it. Up, up we 
goes. Ooh, we got a thing there. I'm supposed to be ending this stream. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I'm like, I'm just like, ooh, shiny thing. Ooh, there's some pumps. Ooh, there's some weapons. Ooh, there's some ore. Shiny thing. Ooh. But there's also, there's a light. Okay, but I think we gotta... Mm, that's that's a good one. I think we gotta call it. I think we gotta call it a day for the stream here because of, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna run right out of time. So thanks for hanging out, guys. I don't want to leave you guys. Also having fun with the game. You should save your game. You should always save your game, kids. This was fun though. Thank you guys for hanging out. I will be back on the interwebs later today at uh, less than four hours from now for the uh, i'll be on a guest on the nintendo prime podcast if you're in the discord i'll post a link into there when it's live all that good stuff or before that if it's already scheduled i'll just post it when i see it but um yeah i'll be back for that on saturday i will be streaming more splatoon side order because i've been having a lot of fun with that the side Side order DLC for the Splatoon 3 game on Nintendo Switch systems. <laughs> and, um, oh, and on Friday, the next dungeon design video will premiere. Friday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Um, if you want to watch it early, it's up there for Patreon members and channel members here on YouTube. So you can watch it now if you want to. Or you can wait till Friday. So Friday morning. It's free on Friday. So yeah, uh, that's that's this week. So thanks for hanging out, guys. I appreciate it. And um, special thanks to those aforementioned patrons and channel members as well. Thanks for thanks for being great, guys. And thank you to all of you guys for hanging out today. I appreciate it. I'm bad at any of these. I'm going to stop talking. Love you. Bye.